Welcome back to Greybeard Disc Golf. Today I thought I'd bring you an in the bag video. Part of my purpose for doing this whole channel is to kind of plot my progress and kind of gauge where I'm at and just follow my whole disc golf journey. So I thought it's a good idea. Let's start with the baseline, where I'm at right now with my bag. I've been playing for about three years. Uh, what's in this bag changes. The odd disc comes and goes, but most of what's in here is pretty standard. Uh, right now there's a couple tests in here and some of those discs overlap, but we'll, uh, we'll show you those when we get there. Uh, let's start first with the bag. Uh, this is the Discmania Fanatic Sky Bag. This is a fantastic bag for the money. Uh, it's relatively cheap. I think I paid $135 Canadian for it. Uh, the only real glaring omission on this bag is there's no D-rings. So I'm, I'm having to hang my tags from one of the zipper pulls and that's not ideal i'd rather than put a put a couple of d-rings on here somewhere but there's lots of space what i really wanted was a slot for on the outside for my putters and i could get that without having to spend 300 dollars on a bag um so let's start with putters uh, my putting putters i've been using pures uh, i've got one this orange one is the actual main putting putter uh, this is a backup in case i you know have an issue with that or whatever i don't generally throw pures as throwing putters. Uh, I like how shallow the rim is on these uh, and have a really good feel in my hand for, for a putting putter. Throwing putters. This is a bit of an interesting slot right now because I've got, I've got a lot in here and they're not all going to stay, but we'll, uh, we'll pull everything out and we'll have a look. So uh, what is a staple? The proxy is a staple in my bag for a throwing putter. I know I can throw this straight. I can throw this about 220 feet if I need to. Uh, it'll hold a line much like a hex wheel and that I can throw it in it. If I want to turn it over, I can. If I want it to hold a hyzer line, it will as well. Uh, from an overstable perspective, I've got two that kind of overlap right now. The first one is the Ironstone, the P3X. This is a fantastic uh, putter for throwing. It's more stable. It's not really overstable, but it'll definitely hold a, a hyzer line and I can get it actually to flex back a little bit if I want to. Uh, but it's kind of, it's, it's, it might lose this position to this one. This is Eagle McMahon's new Envy uh, in the Prism Proton plastic. This thing is just gorgeous. As an overstable uh, putting, uh, throwing putter, the Envy is almost unmatched. So uh, that, that uh, Ironstone, the P3X, might lose its spot to this because I've been loving throwing this. Again, for me, I think that lower profile uh, in the Envy uh, feels really good in my hand as opposed to the the P3X, which has a bit bit more of a deep a deep feel to it. Now, for understable and for straight shots for floaters, uh, I've been throwing the Cloudstone. I love this thing, the Spore, the prototype Spore. Just love it. It kind of fills the same spot as a glitch would. Speed of 1, Glide of 7, just put it out there and it just stays up in the air as long as I want it to. Uh, the Pixel is kind of doing the same thing for me, um, and I'm really uh, excited to throw this. This has been really good, but it hasn't quite found a spot in my in my bag yet i'm still got it in there and i've been throwing it as almost as a player b in a lot of cases just because i'm trying to figure it out um, but both of these are are, are are great for for floaty shots for shorter shots as well approach well <clears throat> what can i say about approach shots it's the zone it's the zone it'll always be the zone uh, as far as i'm aware <laughs> for me anyways uh, i've got my z zone with smith lake farms oh look at that smith lake farms uh, I put Black Creek on Vancouver Island, fantastic course. One of the nicest courses, probably the nicest course on the island. And uh, they do a fantastic job up there. So shout out to Smith Lake Farms. You guys put on an amazing, uh, amazing course. And then I've also got, uh, this is the first zone I ever owned. It was a gift to me from uh, a disc golfer in our club who's kind of become a bit of a mentor for me, Colton. And uh, so I really appreciate what he's done for me. And this thing, I love it, but it's clear and green. So in the summertime, I don't often throw it. It's great for winter though. Uh, and I have a bit better forehand touch with this than I do with the, the stiffer Z one, the, the newer one. So that one's a, a, a fantastic utility. And of course, for short hyzer shots, there's nothing that beats it. Just put it out high and watch it crash exactly where you want it to go. Uh, let's move on to mids. Uh, mids, I don't have a ton going on in there. Um, I think those are fairways. So uh, mids, I've got, obviously I've got a buzz. Uh, buzz is a fantastic disc. Uh, it's not as stable for me, I think, as I'd like it to be, particularly in the headwind. That might just be because I haven't found the right buzz. I've got some ESP buzzes at home that I might swap out, um, but the buzz is a great uh, utility disc. I don't forehand it a ton as well, um, but I know I love the feel in the hand, and it's there's a reason why it's one of the most popular discs in the world. One of the other ones is the Hex. Again, much like the Proxy, I can put this Hex on an Anheuser line, and it'll just hold it. I can put it straight and it'll hold it. I can put it on a hyzer and it'll hold it. It'll do exactly what you ask it to do. And the Glow version is just fantastic. 
Uh, the Stig is kind of trying to find a spot in my bag right now. Uh, currently, that spot is occupied by the Core. They both are very, very similar. The Stig might be a little more understable, but I've been throwing this Core for a while now, and it's very understable for me, which is fantastic, because that allows me to throw about a 200 to 300 foot turnover shot if I need to. There's a couple holes on this course here at Dry Creek where I need to throw it a long way and just have it follow just a beautiful Anheuser line and it'll do that every time. I love this disc for that. Uh, the Stig kind of does a similar thing but we'll see. That might come out <clears throat> um, and the core will probably stay in. Fairways. All right. Fairways we're going to start with probably one of my um, Real staples, I've had this CAX for a long time. I've got a couple of aces on it. Uh, it's an overstable, but it doesn't fly like that for me. This K1 line plastic is really kind of gummy, so uh, I, can, I can put it on a nice line. It does definitely finishes stable, but I can push it out a long way. It's almost, um, it's almost a mid, though, uh, in its distance, but I can really reef on it, and it'll handle the, the torque. Then we've got the FD, classic C line overstable, seven speed. Put it out, you know where it's gonna finish every time. Cicada, this thing is fantastic for turn up shots in tunnels. And I've been using this in the place of, uh, I had a river in my bag for a long time. And this thing does, does that and more. And I can put it on a, on a hyzer flip up down a tunnel and just watch it flip up and then follow a little bit to the right. It's just a, just a wonderful utility disc. I really want to work on getting this as a forehand flip up as well. I think that would be a really useful shot to have. So maybe we'll try working on that. Maybe we'll put some videos out with me working on the, the forehand flip up. Uh, for a little bit more distance, I've got the Insanity. Uh, I love this disc. I was playing, this wasn't in my bag for a long time, and then I played a glow round uh, in Nanaimo where I had this out, and I just kept myself, I found I was constantly reaching for it, going, yeah, you know what, the Insanity, this is for that shot. Yeah, you know what, this shot, I think maybe the Insanity. Oh, I can forehand the Insanity too. And so it goes, it went back into my regular bag because there's just so many places I can use it. It's just so useful, and I love this, this stamp, the Halloween 2021 stamp. This is an old disc. I've had this for a couple of years now. Uh, Dynamic Discs Felon. What a great disc. Uh, overstable 9-speed. This is kind of similar to a Firebird in its place. I don't throw a Firebird. I don't know why. I've got a bunch of them at home. Um, but I got a Felon, and I have a Felon that's a Hot Clabs one, a pink one. And it's starting to get beat in a bit, so it just flies beautifully for me. But I know I can put this out, again, really high. I can get it a bit further uh, and then have it drop exactly where I want it to drop. Uh, okay, for distance. Now... This disc uh, is probably a fairway, but I put it in distance because it just goes and goes and goes. And this is a Sidewinder, the factory second Sidewinder. If you know the Sidewinder, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This is the ultimate for hyzer flip distance if you've got a noodle arm like I do. And uh, it goes a long way. I think probably the longest actual throw I've ever seen a human being do in my in live was one of the guys that I play with through a Sidewinder on an Anheuser and he just bombed it and absolutely bombed it. it went over 500 feet I couldn't believe it um, so this is a great utility disc I don't often use this for tunnel shots because I think it's got a bit more um, bit more finish than I'd like uh, that's where the cicada comes in generally so um, but if I'm out in the field and I know I'm 350 300 feet away this is what I might go to just to turn it up and have it finish and drop flat overstable distance. I'm using the Skystone right now, the PD2. Again, this is more of a utility disc. Uh, if I've got to get around a corner and push a little bit further, this is what I'm going for. This is super overstable, um, but it will push out quite a ways as well. Now, a word about discs like the Skystone, and you'll see I've got other stuff in here too, like the second one I've got for overstability is a destroyer. And my distance discs as well are higher in numbers. I don't have a particularly fast arm, but I don't believe that people with slower arms should be limited to nine speed discs i think that if the disc goes where you want it to go and does what you want it to do throw it who cares if it's a 12 speed i probably shouldn't be throwing a destroyer but you know what i know exactly what it's going to do when i throw it so i'm going to throw it and uh, and i can use this quite a bit this pro plastic as well is quite a bit more understable for a destroyer so it'll behave uh, a bit better for me, which I just love. I can put it out there and it'll actually, it'll hold a line, a, a dead straight line before uh, the other destroyers I have will actually, they'll, they'll, they'll go out and then they'll immediately crash away. So you, you lose a lot of distance on those, but this thing in the pro plastic might be the best destroyer uh, that I have right now. Uh, alrighty. For bombs, um, this is a, this is a fight right now uh, in my bag. 
What I've always thrown for real distance, uh, once I started throwing longer, was the Westside Disc Destiny. This thing is the perfect hyzer, hyzer flip disc for me because it will stay in the air for forever. And I can get it to hyzer flip up and then slowly turn to the right and then finish hard. And it just, it does exactly what I want. And on a, on a flat, I can throw this 360, 365 to 370 feet, which is about as much distance as I can throw. And there really isn't anything else in my bag that I can throw further than this. So I look back at this, the number. Again, this is a 14 speed disc. So, you know, maybe I shouldn't be throwing 14 speed, but it goes further than anything that I throw, including that sidewinder. So I'm going to keep throwing it. One thing though, that has been really working hard in my bag to beat that out is this disc, the DD. And this thing is fantastic. It's an 11 speed, understable disc. Uh, the, the turn on it is minus three and it's a fantastic, it's another great flip up disc for hyzer distance. And, uh, but I can also use it in the woods and uh, this, this S line plastic is just super. So right now the destiny and the DD are fighting, uh, fighting for space. Uh, I'm trying out a nuke SS again, super understable for someone like me, uh, going long distance. I can't throw an overstable disc on an Anheuser line and get that big destroyer flex <clears throat> or nuke flex that you would normally see out of the big arms. So I'm throwing uh, understable discs and getting the hyzer flip and getting that distance out of them and it works great for me. So this one goes a long way too. Again, it's more of an experiment in the bag right now, trying to figure out if I can get it to work. And then this just came today. I love the look of this thing. This is actually another DD. It's a Mind Stone. And I wanted to try it in this Lux Vapor plastic, so we'll see how that works out. Yeah, so there you have the Mind Stone. And yeah, so I'm bagging a couple stones, but generally uh, that's what my bag looks like right now. I might change out of the odd disc here and there from going to tournaments, but this number of bag, this number of discs, and it's a lot of discs for a bag, basically means that I don't have to carry two bags and I don't have to constantly be swapping my bag in and out depending on which course I go to. I'll go up to Cooper's Hawk and play the Reds up there. I'll take this bag. I just won't throw the Destroyer and I won't throw the, the Destiny. Uh, but if I go up there and I want to play from the blues or the golds, I know I've got the distance in the bag to actually make that, that doable. And I can go from a short course like that to a much longer course like Smith Lake Farms, uh, which is a very long course. But uh, uh, I know that this bag will, will work for any of those at all. So that's it. Obviously, I've got, uh, I've got my birdie beads. Uh, I've got my tags. Um, I've got a range finder in there as well. I love my range finder. Um, I do use it from time to time. I've got the rule book. I got extra poo bags for sure. You always got to carry extra poo bags and a couple of towels, some markers, my trash panda marker, uh, my towel from Dynamics Discs Phoenix, the disc shack. I think they used to be called the disc shack. I love that. Uh, it's a great towel too. And uh, yeah, so that's about it. Is there anything I'm missing you think? If you've seen a few of my throws, you kind of know where I'm at. So uh, maybe in the comments, let me know what do you think I'm missing? What should I be throwing in there? But if you think there's something that uh, that would work really well for me, uh, let me know. I'm going to start trying out discs and especially that quick rip series. Uh, I want to start doing more stuff on the quick rips and uh, discs that maybe I don't uh, have. Maybe some people don't carry some funny stuff, some odd stuff. You saw that Vibram disc. I can't believe that bloody thing. Uh, that was in the bag for a while too. But So keep an eye on the channel. And uh, if you have any suggestions, put them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. Subscribe uh, and like and follow. And we'll uh, talk to you again soon on Greybeard Disc Golf.